Hmm. Well, so I think that's the entire floor, and I haven't seen a stair down yet, except for possibly the room I'm looking at right there. Oh, and apparently I missed the room right here. I'm doubtful there's going to be stairs down right there, though. So, is this going to be the entrance to the downstairs area that I can't get to? <laughs> That's going to suck. I was really hoping that if I found a tool area like this, I'd get a pickaxe so I could go through these kinds of doors. I haven't done the upstairs yet. I haven't popped all these crates yet. But I definitely don't think it's going to be anywhere over here. A lot of book opportunities down there. There's up. Yeah, I don't know. If there is a stairs down, that, uh, that corner room there is looking the most likely. Go ahead and... Uh, <laughs> onion... Ultralight battery cell, a dissecting microscope. I love microscopes. They're like one-stop shops getting the telescope made because they've got both the small and regular high-quality lenses. So you can uh, just take one of these apart and have most of what you would need to uh, put together the old telescope. Or... Uh, yeah, it's starting to look like this is, this is an overly rich <laughs> location. Granted, there is quite the uh, number of zombies in the entryway there, but uh, even so, now all these crates are popping out all sorts of crazy stuff. There's a lot of crates to go through. Hydrogen tank! Hey! hey. <laughs> Lungs, liver, and brains hanging out in a crate in the, uh, the warehouse. Medium battery cell, high capacity, a vortex device. Huh. Oh, not 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 the vortex type cool stuff. This is lab equipment. Uh, high capacity, medium battery cell, universally compatible with all kinds of application and power tools. Contents of this item: six hundred. All right. Well, we gotta grab that. Here's. Urgent bleach, peroxide, more food items. Ah, this is just crazy. But unless one pops out a pickaxe, I'm not really going to care. Heavy battery cell. of uh, food items laying around here. So is this like a freezer? <laughs> What's the temperature here? Temperature's fine. Whatever. Alright, well, some interesting stuff. Pretty random stuff. So I've got ultralight battery cell, medium battery cell, heavy battery cell. So, if I grab the 
headlamp to say reload, did it just pick one of its own to reload it with? Didn't ask me what I wanted to reload it with. What did it reload the 50 from? I'm confused. Did it take it from the smallest one? I don't, that's, that small one seems to be gone now. Kind of confused, but uh, we'll figure it out. So, well, I guess I'll go upstairs, but I think my chances of finding a pickaxe upstairs are pretty small. And going up is not going to solve my finding the basement stairs down problem. <clears throat> so it does say on the tool itself. Uh... Use it. So compatible magazines. Light, ultralight, light. Alright, I think I only had one of the lights, so that's probably why it didn't ask me. Good enough. Another door I can't get into. Large amount of clothing. server stacks well it's pretty cool hey zombies Autorama trills another scientist zombie I'll leave him alone what do we got up there first responder I've already got Dagger counter, more goggles. More worker clothes for they hit the clean rooms. Hangout area, stairs up and down. Holy crap, how tall is this building? Magnetic Resonance Spectrometer. Hmm. Alright. This place is, um... This place is large.
lab analysis kit. Sounds fun. I don't know, this kind of gives me the feel of a mansion where I would just get kind of fatigued trying to work my way through it. And uh, it's definitely zombie density is way too high for me to do it with bullets. There's another stairs up. <laughs> That's mainly what I was curious about. This is getting kind of ridiculous. Three floors up. Roof? Roof! Alright, so it's three floors tall and has a roof. shop on top of the roof like the apartment buildings have. Uh, the roof wraps around the courtyard area. So one spot of stair access on both. Standing tanks, so you've got a million standing tanks, so no problems with liquid storage. But I don't think it has... Yeah, no no shed or workshop or anything up here. Well, as long as you've got the capacity to kill all the zombies in melee, yeah, it's a pretty nice place. weird little corner area. You can got the lab journals, huh? of ether so you can craft your anesthetic kits which I think is another change I haven't had to deal with yet getting uh, anesthetic kits put together I believe those have changed dramatically also brains <laughs> Oh, there's the middle book. All right, we got all three of the books. We can now get to Computers 8. Six bandages? All right. 
interesting. And more bandages? What am I in the medical research section here? Nitrogen tank. Lots and lots of hacksaws. My kingdom for a pickaxe, though. Yeah, honestly, this place is just too big. I would, I would have the exact same problem I have with mansions. It just, <laughs> you could spend literally real-world days just trying to run through this place and clear it out. Duct tape. And I'm not even passing next to most of these refrigerators that have got stuff crammed into them. Is that a UPS? It is a UPS. Bathrooms, not the lab area. Kind of a weird little section here. Does it not connect across? That's really inconvenient. Ah, I'm gonna lose my rucksack. Just about to go bye bye. So, third floor, and it doesn't connect across. Seems weird. I have to go down a level, then over, and then up again. All right, none of this solves my basic problem, though, of uh, not having access to what I thought was going to be a lab underneath. Um, Head back down. I just have no way of getting through this door. I think what I'll do instead is I'll go through the wall. I'll go get the uh, car and I'll smash into the wall and get access that way. It's also weird there's no, no switch to throw to open the door here. I have to go a long way around. Can't open any of these things. <laughs> uh, right after I play run around in a circle with a bunch of zombies. Hey zombies, come here. Come here you, follow me. Everybody get up here in the corner. Come on, everybody up in the corner. Nice tasty lungs right here.
All right, then we turn the light off and we go around them. Whoops, not crouching. Still managed to get me. So yeah, a lot of zombies, but oh, it's daytime. Oh crap, 6 a.m. <laughs> That's not good. Uh, didn't realize it was that early. Yeah, it's fine. It's all easy stuff to maneuver around. Quite a bit of it still. So, yeah, massive numbers of easy zombies. Man, I really don't want to run around pulping all this crap again. I think it would be better served to cut down on the quantity and uh, mix in some scientists and some shockers and things like that. This is just too much stuff, too easy to get to. It's kind of like the uh, light industrial facility, which is another thing that I really enjoyed finding, but it was way too much stuff. I mean, you could get all of the metalworking, all of the fabrication books in that one location with all of the tools and so on. It was also too heavily geared up. So, too generous. Too much stuff. And I've got very much, it's even worse than the uh, the mansion. It's even bigger than a mansion to try to go through three floors of the building. I haven't even gone underground yet. Assuming I'm correct and that that uh, one little room back there has got the, uh, the basement. Um... So, I'm going to hop in the vehicle here. We're going to try to uh, smash into that. That wall. So, yeah, that wall section right there. Let's, um... All right, I do have a seatbelt. I do have a seatbelt. Charge. Second wall section. Well, that's a little, little a holy. <laughs> uh, hopefully, we've got enough for at least two more charges because we're gonna have to hit that thing again and then hit the interior wall. One more. I only need one opening. Don't move me off of my north-south line, please. Alright. Theoretically, that'll be good enough. I'll need to get a 2x4 to cross the uh, gap there and hope that this door opens. But I think that's the key card reader pop possum. Is that a key card reader? No. Parking lot parallels controls. Alright. Well, hopefully this interior door opens to something useful. If this is just two empty elevators, I'm gonna be pretty annoyed. That couldn't be the case though. Don't have a two by four on. <laughs> Don't think so. Um, me overweight. <laughs> Please don't rip off my backpack. I just want to know what's in this room.
Stairs down! Alright. So, I got a little worried there. <laughs> Close that up. And peek. Downstairs. Get rid of the lights. Hmm. Get the uh, USP back out again. I am just barely underweight. Manhack! Hey there, Manhack, behind the uh, little grid. More stairs down. Oh, we got a switch for something. Gunses. It has gunses. So that loops around. And so there's a switch in both sides. Is that what would that access? Not sure what that switch would accomplish. Um, I'm gonna leave the light. We're in the laboratory. All right. <laughs> Thank goodness. I really, really, really didn't want to have to go find me a uh, pickaxe, although it would be helpful. But now that we're in the lab, the quantity of things I'm going to shoot should go way, way down. So I think our existing gun supply will probably last. So, alright. So some kind of a security station. I'm still a little curious why there are two switches. I don't see anywhere else to go unless there's something on the back side of this corridor I couldn't quite see but it sure looks like it's just gonna wrap around into another security station so I just don't know what those switches are actually supposed to do only one elevator stairs up stairs down I've already got access to so I don't know Not going to worry about it. We have access to the lab. Some of the doors have already been broken. How is was my arm at one health now? Did I actually take enough hits that... Uh... Holy crap. I didn't notice the very few times I actually got tagged, but apparently I got tagged right in the right arm. Huh. Not good. I really don't want to get a broken arm. Hey there, Mr. Turret. Maybe I can work my way around that. Nope, can't work my way around that. <laughs> Not with two turrets. Yay, convenient bedroom. Would have been nice if the bedroom was actually uh, uh, lit. Uh, that's that big deal. All right, so we've got all four directions available. We got a bedroom. We're in the final lab area, but I don't have all my gear and stuff. Do I care? Um. I'm trying to think. Almost at max volume. Should probably make a trip back out.
but it's daytime. I don't have any of my food with me either. Now that we've got the path cleared, it'll be easy for us to get back down here. Let's do the smart, smartish thing. where I get hit in the right arm and get a busted arm. Alright, turn this back off again. It's starting to get irritating. I think I'll leave the car. We'll head back out. Hey there, Brain! <laughs> Welcome, thanks for the follow. Whoops, didn't mean to be running either. So, I'm debating pulling back away from here in the uh, ambulance a bit. Maybe pull back to like right here. And then uh, kind of re-gear up, figure out what I'm going to take into the bottom of the lab with me. Yeah, let's, let's do that. I'm going to get constantly interrupted all otherwise. Okay, let's have some uh, water. Down to 6 out of 15, huh? And chocolate bar, fruit leathers, and some peanuts. That should be plenty of everything. What do we got up here? <laughs> hey there, Afrojibus. Welcome, welcome. I don't have anything else. Trying to consolidate all the crap. Let's see, we've got 40 space, 20 space, and 40 space. Yeah, all of that. Oops, keep the electro hack. Alright, the only thing up front is food. Really? This is no longer... Oh, that's right. It never has been. Never mind. Either Halcyon. thing I have to decide is I've now got, like I said, all three of the computer books. So we've got uh, Computer 101, that gives me to three. Then we've got uh, Event Programming, which takes me from three to, I think, six, either five or six. And then we've got SICP to go all the way up to eight. So those three books, I can uh, take computers all the way up to eight, and that'll get me into a few of the barracks and armories. Um, all by themselves. That way I wouldn't have to rely too much on uh, too big to pick up. Wouldn't have to rely too much on pickaxe, which would still be a really good thing to have just so I can go through walls and doors when I need to, but uh, oh well. Alright, 
right, so there's the list. We really haven't been to any places. We got almost all of these right here in this location. And I was pretty sloppy about running around and actually checking everything. There's probably half, <laughs> half of the uh, lab or the facility that we haven't actually searched yet. Am I liking the experimental changes so far? Uh, I think in general they're all good. Progress towards what most people have to realize right after. Excuse me. I think what most people have to realize is just uh, calm the hell down. Changes are made, and a lot of the changes that are made that may irritate you are, are done as intermediate steps towards larger changes coming later. So for the most part, people just need to like chillax. Just settle down. Just live with it for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, some of them are broke and they get fixed pretty quickly. Um, but uh, yeah, a lot of the stuff is incremental changes. They're changes that have to be made in order to accommodate other changes that are coming. So um, I think for the most part, they've all added interesting content, challenges, options to the game. It's not really the mechanics of the game that I think needs work more than content. It's the mid-late game content that I think is most lacking. Early game will keep new players occupied for months of real world time before they even come close to scratching uh, all the content that's available. But uh, for the older folks, the mid-late game is pretty lackluster. There's just not that much variety. Um, and the damage danger curve turns into a, a vertical cliff uh, at the point where the only thing that really kills you is uh, burst fire from turrets. So, but uh, a lot of stuff's getting added in, and it's it's all good and it's interesting. But um, mid to late game challenging stuff is really few and far between. Most of the content is all um, uh, fluff or all early early game um, variations, which I, I like. That's all good. It's interesting to see new things, but, um, yeah, I, I think the mid to late game needs, needs some more love. And I don't know if that's planned after they get some other mechanic stuff done or, or what, but, uh, however it works, I'll roll with it. So I'm concerned about two things. A, uh, my hit points. <laughs> I mean, it is only day three, so we we just rolled into day three. We just spent uh, what eight hours running through that uh, that facility. So the whole goal of the challenge was to search through a research facility, try to clear it. But I I don't know if I've got the patience to do it. It's got a lot more zombies than I was expecting, and especially if I'm trying to do mostly guns. I mean, I would have to double or triple my ammo supply. And it still seems like more are appearing faster than I'm killing them. So from my initial run through, the additional numbers that I have in there don't really account for what I saw in, uh, initially. So I don't know if wander spawns are kicking in and uh, dropping zombies all over the place because of the gunfire. That's one of the things that wander spawn does is when you make a bunch of noise, it triggers wander spawns. And until I deplete the pool, it's just going to be non-stop huge piles of zombies around the corners constantly coming after me. So I don't think running through it trying to kill everything with gunfire for that large of a complex is reasonable or, or valid. Um, so, But I do definitely think either they need to tone down the amount of gear and realize, realize, all that stuff you saw... Try, try to imagine this. Realize. All the stuff you saw. I'm playing on 0.5 drop rate. I'm playing at half item drop rate. <laughs> imagine what this place has got for all you guys playing on 1.0 or 2.0 drop rates. That, that what you saw was half. I can't even imagine. Boggles my brain what's, what's in that place on a full item drop rate. <laughs> every book in the game and uh, 16 bazillion pounds of food and all the tools and <laughs> I don't know talk about a one-stop shop so they either need to tone that thing down for the item drops or they need to really ratchet up the difficulty <laughs> yeah all the brains there were a lot of brains <laughs> that warehouse was funky I, I was curious. I checked the temperature. I thought maybe I had walked into a huge meat locker, but uh, didn't appear to be. 
So, yeah, this place would be pretty crazy. I, I'd have to personally, given the way it's set up right now, for my standard challenge runs, I'm going to have to not visit this place. I'm going to have to basically put it on my do not go to list, just like I do with apartment complexes and a few other places I just don't go to, because it just trivializes the game. Um, so, while it's cool... I, it needs some balance. So I like the facility. The way it's built is really good. So whoever designed it, uh, congratulations. It's, it's a really cool building. I just think it's way overstacked with uh, various things. <laughs> so I may have to take a look at it on a full 1.0 test world um, just to look one more time and see just how ridiculous it gets. And the spawns inside the building, it needs to be uh, upped substantially. There need to be more than just security guards and low-level zombies um, right from the get-go. I mean, we ought to be seeing some shockers. I mean, it's a research facility. We should be seeing some shockers, maybe some more turrets, or uh, if not turrets, something. It's just way, way, way too easy to wander through right now. So, a little bit less in the numbers, and a little bit more in the difficulty of the zombies, and way lower in uh, the item drop rate, apparently. So, yeah, I, I won't be visiting it during my normal course of play. It's just too much of a uh, pinata of free stuff, essentially. Especially for anybody that's played the game for a while and knows how to maneuver around large groups of zombies. It's just too easy to just run around there and cherry-pick out all the good stuff for almost no danger. So... I'll keep an eye out if I hear word that they've, uh, just like mansions, mansions were way, way too easy, and they've been slowly ratcheting up the, uh, what zombies spawn in mansions, so there's more dangerous zombies in there now. It's not quite the free loot pinata that it's been in the past. Still fairly easy, but uh, at least some of the more advanced zombies are, are on the spawn list for mansions now. Um, so they definitely need to do that for this facility, though. I guess the good news is there aren't that many. These don't spawn very often on the overworld maps. Like I said, I, I've typically seen one of these research facilities per overworld map. And by overworld map, that doesn't mean just what I can see on the screen here or your starting area. I'm talking about the huge area that you get on the debug menu. So it's like from here down to here. <laughs> That kind of a, a large box is an overworld map section. I usually only see one of these per overworld map section, so they're not real populous, but still, they definitely need a few more whacks with the uh, the nerf bat. All right, so but for this particular playthrough, we've now found the facility. We've I think done what I'm going to consider a fair run through of it. I'm not planning on clearing this thing. <laughs> There's just no way it's going to happen. I think I've seen all the cool stuff I wanted to see. There may be something hiding someone in some nook somewhere, but uh, I think I've seen what I need to see in the, the facility there. So I'm just going to finish out the laboratory part of the run. But to do that, i got to make a decision. Do I hang out here in the ambulance for a few days, healing up a bit, getting at least a couple of bars of health while I read these books? going to be a bit of a slow read because I'm not all that smart. 15 minutes. Yeah, even the basic computer book's going to be a little bit much for me. Yeah, it would probably take me a good four or five days just to burn through the books to have a chance of getting the hacking into uh, places I need to get into. But I think that would still be faster than me uh, trying to go find a pickaxe or burning my way through all the metalworking crap. So, I think I've got a swamp right next to me here. I think I'm going to go park a little closer to the swamp. And we're going to spend some time right here, I think. Yeah, close enough. It won't tell me fresh or salt unless I stand it outside. Let's just hope. Oops. We've got some fresh water here. Hey, that's fresh water. Awesome. Alright, so with that... I actually want to turn the vehicle around. Stupid zombie. <laughs> Zombies do north of me there. Uh, 
right there, I think we'll do. Yeah, damn zombie's gonna come right at the inconvenient time. He's gonna decide to wander down through the swamp towards me. Only thing I wish is I had a way of closing this up. Don't have the materials to do it. <laughs> you didn't install a clock. That's not what I want. Mechanics one, tailoring one, and a sheet. I have none of these things. Hmm. Oh, did I take that damage when I was crashing my vehicle into the wall? Maybe that's what did my the damage to my arm. I didn't notice. <laughs> But yeah, almost all of the damage, 90% 90 of the damage you see here is from the initial helicopter crash start. And the fact that I've got the imperceptive healer trait, so the one night that we've actually spent sleeping, I gained almost nothing. Alright, so yeah, I don't have much in the way of rags or those kinds of raw materials, so that's the only thing I'm a little concerned about. We've got fresh water right there, so water's no problem, food's no problem. We've got cooking materials, all that. It's just going to be the light when I... Is that a football stadium? Football field. <laughs> a football field. Every football field I visited recently has had like a dozen zombie masters on the field. I'm guessing they're considered like assistant coaches <laughs> or somebody's idea of a joke that uh, zombie masters are like coaches and they're there to uh, upgrade the players and uh, yeah so I think it's pretty hilarious there's been so many zombie masters hanging out at the uh, football fields I just wish I could have a curtain or something to close this off mechanic skill I can get tailoring skill I can get easily if I had brought much in the way of clothing or cloth but I didn't I don't want to go get any, so I think we're just going to make do. Uh, I think I might bring the food from up front as well. I'm going to spend most of my time in the back here. Uh, plus, I've got an opening right there I forgot about. Yeah, it's not light tight, so... Hmm. Not sure I'm gonna do this. All right, I've still got some space in all of the locations. Alright, so we've got plenty of guns. Um, I'm not going to do this. It's 9 a.m. I can't even make a blindfold so I can... Oh, I can. Oh, that's right. I've got lots of duct tape. And bandages. Um, yeah, do it out of the duct tape. Now there's two zombies up. I don't know. Zombie and a dragonfly. Alright, so I've got a blindfold so I can sleep during the day. We are tired. But if I sleep now, I'm not going to have... Hmm. Crouching, uh, as long as you're crouching next to an object, like a counter or a bush or car, things like that, it will give you cover, basically, and it cuts down on the visual range that the zombies can detect you from. So it's mostly used for sneaking around. Um, it also slows you down movement-wise, and it cuts down on the amount of noise you're making while you're moving. 
Mostly, though, people seem to use it to get themselves killed when they don't re realize they've switched to crouch mode and all the zombies catch up to them. I think Kevin's working on a prone mode, so you can go crouch or prone, and I think prone may give aiming bonuses, something like that. So, yeah, that's your choice. Mostly, just be really careful that you don't put yourself in crouch mode while you're trying to run away from zombies. Given that it's all in the same key. Um, what to do, what to do. I read for the rest of the day. Sleep through the night. Yeah, let's get some reading done. Alright, what are we going to do? Let's do... Let's get that tailoring done first. Alright, there's tailoring one. Next up. First aid to one at least. There we go. And now I'm stuck on first aid because we don't have the gap from one to three filled for the low level book. Don't have any other tailoring books. Not worried about fab right now. I think I'm just going to work on. Let's just get working on computers. Hopefully we can get a couple of levels done. There's level one. Still doing okay. Oh, never mind. That's level three computers. That's right. I forgot I had level two computer to start with. Alright. Let's uh, dump those off. So it won't take me as long as I had feared. Now, oh yeah. Now the pain starts. 50 minutes per... We went from 15 to 50. <laughs> Good old advanced programming. You can't go in prone yet. I just know, I remember reading that Kevin's, Kevin or somebody's going to be planning on putting that in. I think it's pending other changes before it goes in. Alright, 4 o'clock. Yeah, let's get started on it. The computer skill is really the number one thing I need. Alright, so 8 o'clock. We actually made it to 50%. That's not too bad. Okay. Um, what am I down to? Four doses. Two of those. And... Fruit leather. Cashews. Whoops. Keep switching which one I'm pointing at. That should be good enough. We'll let five minutes go by. Let it update. A little bit hungry and thirsty still. All right, one more. And yeah, screw it. Finish off the water. And the cat sheets. Okay, slaked and peckish. That's all fine. Uh, let's try to sleep. See if we get visited in the dark. Uh, I've still got bandages and disinfectant going on all the body parts. It's going to suck as uh, if something does come to visit. <laughs> They're going to walk right through this open space and hit me and break my arm before I can wake up. I won't need the uh, blindfold now at least. Nope, no alarm. Sleep as long as you would like. And uh, please give me at least a bar of healing. One bar would be nice. Be really, really nice. We'll see if we actually get it. Mm, got a little bit of progress on that dangerous arm. At least I'm far away from any of the... Oh, that's right. I forgot. If I could have slept longer, I would have uh, done so. Tiny, tiny bit of healing. All of the effects are gone. We'll have to re-bandage and uh, re-disinfect. We got plenty of those from all the first aid kits we picked up, so let's just keep reading. Hopefully we can get through two more levels today. Here's the first one, 10.30. I think we'll get through at least one more. Oh, now we're famished.
Alright, how many MREs did I pull out anyway? I forget. Uh, all MREs, only three. Because I am going to pile through all of my accumulated bags of nuts here pretty quick. We'll see if any of the uh, gallon jugs unfreeze. <laughs> uh, I need to cook up some water. Let's do uh, 18 using. Use the mess kit. One, two, three. And the rest goes into the gallon jug. That's why I parked right here, by the way. I found fresh water. So I could just quickly craft clean water conveniently whenever I needed to. Uh... Mm -hmm. right. More reading. Going slow now. I'm not sure we're going to make it through before we lose the light. Nope. Not going to make it. <laughs> Only 60%. And we're tired again. Alright, we need the healing, so I'm not going to begrudge it. We've gotten pretty lucky so far. Uh, toastums. Got some pine nuts. That's 800 calories. And cashew. And some peanuts. That's about 1,100. That should more than get me caught up. Oh, I forgot. My... my other things aren't defrosting all that much, even during the daytime. Well, some of it did. Could have had uh, some of that before it got frozen again. Still hungry and thirsty, huh? Alright. Let's have a uh, banana. Cheese. Free leather. Some more water. Oh yeah. Um, Average. One level of first aid skill and got me to average? Seems kind of weird. I'll take it. We'll see if we make any more progress. We get a full night's sleep. Uh, I think I am going to wear the blindfold just in case it wants to sleep even longer. Nope, no alarm. Yeah, challenge isn't quite complete. We got the facility, in my estimation, as clear as I'm going to get it. It's just ridiculously populated with standard zombies. Um, and we've we've walked through most of it and gotten a good look at it. That was the main thing I wanted to do. So now, uh, 6.30 again, exactly. Now we're up to the point where I just need to clear the, or not clear the lab completely, but uh, at least get to and uh, be able to finish out the finale room to officially close out the challenge. I only wanted the challenge to last one or two sessions, so we're about five hours into it. We might finish it up this evening if I just uh, bulldog straight to the bottom of the lab and manage to have the ability to clear out whatever uh, sentry security bots or uh, turrets are there. So, we'll see. <laughs> yep, pew pew! 